Now, there's something else happening out there, folks, in addition to all that. We had this in a morning update a couple of days ago. There's a columnist for the New York Times named Thomas Friedman, Thomas Loopy Friedman. And Friedman is part of the Washington establishment that just can't accept Donald Trump as a human being. They can't accept him as a human being. They can't accept him as president. They just can't accept it. They cannot deal with it. And so they have strategized, and they have plotted, and they have planned. They have tried everything they can think of since prior to the 2016 election to first deny Trump the victory, and then after he won, to try to get him thrown out of office. And nothing has worked. Now, they've paralyzed the administration. They've done great damage public opinion-wise. But in terms of the objective of getting rid of Trump, they haven't. And it's very frustrating because they thought they would have been able to do this by now. I mean, if this bunch of people really wants to get rid of a Washington politician, they can do it. They can do it any number of ways. They've got a playbook that they can cite and go back to that shows them how to do it because they've done it so often. And they literally have tried everything that has worked in the past. They've tried to create new weapons to get rid of Trump. Nothing has worked. They are at their wit's end. So Loopy Friedman had a column the other day advising Republicans what to do to help get rid of Donald Trump. And to paraphrase his idea, Thomas Friedman suggested that the Republicans need to get together. The never-Trump Republicans need to get together and find a... Republican never Trumper, such as a Mitt Romney or a Ben Sass, to run for president in 2020. And not as a Republican, because that means that person would lose in the primaries. The objective is to get a third party candidate on the ballot who is a mainstream so-called never-Trump Republican and primarily in the states of Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, Illinois, Minnesota, these Rust Belt states that Trump surprisingly won. But just get a never-Trumper on the ballot in as many states as possible to siphon votes away, Republican votes away from Trump. Thereby ensuring the election of whoever the Democrats nominated. Right now, the conventional wisdom is that it's going to be Biden. So Thomas Friedman poses this idea in his New York Times column a couple days ago. And I am reliably informed that never Trumpers throughout Washington are now actively engaged in trying to do this, in trying to make this happen, in trying to find somebody Willing to run for president who does not want to win, just wants to get on the ballot and siphon enough votes away from Trump so that he can't win and ensure the Democrats will win the White House in 2020. Because to them, all that matters is getting rid of Donald Trump. That's all they can see. That's all they care about. That's the only thing motivating them and animating them. Now, how difficult do you think it's going to be for them to find somebody like a Romney or a Sass to actually try to get on a ballot in a way that would harm Trump? I don't think they're going to have any trouble doing this. So, uh, I and I, I can't tell you how much damage these people are going to end up doing to themselves and the Republican Party as a whole if they do this. And I think they have to know it. I think they don't care. I think the degree, the level of hatred for Donald Trump and all of you who voted for him is so great that if they have to destroy the Republican Party, that's what it takes to get rid of Donald Trump. They are going to be more than willing to do it because their egos are telling them they will be able to. To put the Republican Party back together after all of this, and it'll be better, and it'll be stronger, and it'll be more moderate than ever before. It'll finally be a Republican Party where they can say they've gotten rid of all of the conservatives, because that is objective number two of the never-Trumper Republicans and the so-called mainstream Republicans is to get rid of the conservative influence of the Republican Party. So for them, it's a twofer. 
get rid of Trump and then just anger conservative Republicans so much that they never, ever again vote Republican. That would be a dream come true for the Mitt Romneys and the Ben Sasses and all these never-Trumper intellectual magazine writers and publishers and you name it. 